What is up, beautiful YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Will Burn Reactions. My name is Chad. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button for me. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, notification bells on at all times. But our goal, our greatest goal over here is keeping music alive, me discovering great music, and just enjoying this journey that's been amazing. This is my second album breakdown on this on this channel. Um, we are in Maggot Brain for my new subscribers and then for those who know. Uh, who's been here that's the first the, the album that we are going into and i was impressed by the first song maggot brain oh my gosh you're talking about an introduction that's how you introduce yourself that's how you come in uh, i guess if you want to just lay it all out on the table in the first initial intro introduction of the album that's how you lay it down i, I was highly impressed and it's crazy because yesterday i'm landing i'm like man literally guys i'm laying in the bed i'm like i can't wait to like i almost wanted to just record the whole album in one day you know if i could you know it's almost possible, but I got little ones in the family, you know. But, man, I was thinking about it like, man, that second song I got to know what it's about. But we're here today. So let me quit running my mouth and let's dive in, guys. Let's see. This is, uh, Can You Get That? Can You Get That? I love that it's still soft and like this subtle vibe. I I, I think uh, the second song could have went any direction, though, if you really think about it, because the first song, you know, it was soft, but then it had its moments, you know. So I feel like, I mean, I can understand it. I, you, you could have headed any direction with this. But I love how like this song, like that's why, I, like, I, like I said, I'm glad I'm going to the albums now, because you can see how the songs actually flow together on the album, you know, compared to just pulling a song out, you know, just just going off of that. So I, I like how this album is going so far. It's, it's a smooth and 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 vibe it's just a straight vibe to me you get uh, i want to know i want to know if you can get the love can you get i want to know if you can get the love i rack the leg for with the mixed emotions all of the time we used to have but you were making preparations for the common separation and it blew everything we had This this song was used on something, a commercial or something. That that part. Can you get? I know, was it a Pepsi commercial, guys? I know you guys are always good at helping me out with this. You guys are like, it was on this. I promise you, it was it was like a, a commercial. I know for sure. It was around some time. I used to hear it all the time on a commercial. Just that part. I think it was a Pepsi commercial or a beer commercial. One of those. In your days ago, chicks you signed with love and kisses made a comeback sign insufficient buzz. Man, it's the vocals too for me. That's what makes this so amazing. I, I I just love, you know, great musicians always just just put a smile on my face and make me happy. Don't get me wrong, but it's something about like people who could just do certain things with their vocals. Like I always talk about this on the channel. Like like Stevie, I brought it up with Stevie Wonder doing it. You know, Luther Vandross. Uh, what was it? Allison Chains, uh, artist. I was talking their lead singer. Um, there's just certain. There's like little ad libs in here. You know they're adding to their vocals that they're doing and it, it's amazing it, it's not like common a lot of people do this you don't even hear this a lot often today where you get these different sound effects coming from voices and i always say like a voice is definitely an instrument it's definitely an instrument and i like people who can utilize theirs in this way that's that's crazy it's unique iconic and you don't hear it in today's music at all like i don't think i've ever heard anybody try to do these type of things with their voices or maybe they just can't maybe they don't just have that in their arsenal and their 
inventory to do it. So maybe that's what it is. And your loving days are done. I text you, sign with the love and kiss a later. Come back, shine insufficient fun. Y'all get to that. I go back to my comment again. I guess if you're going to call yourself Funkadelic, you better bring the funk. And then I, I guess that they're bringing it. Um, just just different elements. It's SD, me, me, like, you know, music heads where, like I said, you're looking at too deeper, like the format. It's like the format of the song, the, the, the different sounds, the different instruments, the different elements. Just... I, I think sometimes a song is like overlooked. Like we just look, like a song comes out and some people just listen to it for certain things and they're like, oh, that was a clean song. I, I look like a lot of us, and I know a lot of us on this channel, like you look deeper. You look in what the artist put into the song, the album, how far it went and the creativity behind it. And when I listen to this, I don't hear this. You know, me, I just turned 30 for those who know on my channel about in April and then those who don't. So I grew up in an era, you know, coming up in music in my era, and it, it was okay, you know, in the 90s and stuff like that. You know, I still kind of came in that era where music was still, like, alive, like, good. But then as I got older, you know, at that time I thought, you know, I was hearing some good music. But now that I'm older, you start seeing, and I start, like, going back to that that term I used to say, like, my dad said, like, man, that's not music, man, that's trash. My dad, you don't know music, you know, and now that I'm older and wiser, you start hearing this stuff and understanding. You know, you listen to this track. Like I said, I, I can't recall an artist I've listened to in my time that I've said, oh, man, I've heard an album like this or like brought this. The only person I can think of, and I know a lot of you guys probably want to know, you can't see him, but he's back there on my wall somewhere, Kendrick Lamar. And they actually, one of his albums actually helped him. You know, he they actually, uh, who was it? Uh, I can't think of his name, but he actually helped Kendrick with the album. And it, it sounded just like this. And that's the only artist, but he got help, you know, I, but I don't, I don't see anybody in today's world creating and thinking it's creative. Like, I don't think nobody goes to the studio anymore or even sits there and like, let me create this masterpiece of a song. Like everybody's just quick. Like I said, it's, it's what's hot right now. It's what's good. And, and it sucks, but you know, so we have this channel for us. We have you guys for like introduce me to this stuff and, and show me like th this is, this is music. And it's crazy because I catch myself now, guys, it's so crazy. Like I just came from out of town last week on a vacation and I catch myself now, I listen to older music before my time, like more of that on my playlist now than I listen to anything new. Almost like somebody got to tell me something new came out and like, go try it. That's how crazy it is. Like I go around friends and like, you hear this song? I'm like, no. And then they'll show me. Is that bad? I don't know. I just feel like I got an old soul now. Like, or if my phone is hooked up to the playlist and my friends are like, we're at a party, like put this on. And I feel like I'm putting on stuff like this, like, because I'm just like, I can appreciate this stuff. I can't appreciate this newer stuff that's out anymore. Like you guys have, have, have just changed my brain, changed my thought process on music. But diving into this album is something creative. I'm in song two, and I'm already just blown away by the creativity of this album. It's something I've never heard. It's something I've never experienced in my lifetime on an album where you're, like I said, track one, you're like blown away. Then you come into track two, and they still give you something like, oh, man, this this is that album. And I see why people are talking about this album. Like, yeah, this is that album to go down, bro. I hear it. But another great solid song. This is song two going into song three next. Thank you guys for tuning in back in with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you guys thought about this one. I love talking about these albums with you guys. I've been communicating with some of you guys in the comments. So let me know what you guys thought on this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video.